Hi, boys and girls. It's Miss Paige, your cubby leader. Today we are on Bear Hug 21. And our Bible verse is 1 Corinthians 15, 3 and 4. It says, Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. So that's three things you have to remember. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. Good job, Cubbies. We're going to practice that a little bit more later, okay? But right now we're going to play our game. Where do I live? Today, I need your help to find Mr. Flamingo's home. Do you think you can help me? All right, let's look at what our options are. The first option is at a hospital. Do you think Mr. Flamingo lives at a hospital? He could. They have beds there and they have food there, but I'm not sure if that's his home. Let's see what our other options are. A beehive. Does Mr. Flamingo live in a beehive? I think he'd have to shrink himself down to being like this tiny and then he could fly up into the beehive. What do you think? Mm, I'm not so sure about that. What about at McDonald's? Have you ever seen any flamingos at McDonald's? Maybe that's his home. That would be a cool place to live, you think? Let's see. Oh, or at a pond. Do you think Mr. Flamingo lives at a pond? That seems more likely. Let's look at all four options again. At a hospital, in a beehive, at McDonald's, or at a pond. Where do you think flamingos live? If you said pond, that is the right answer, cubbies. Let's look at some real flamingos. Those are real flamingos at a pond. Good job. All right, well now it's time for Cubby Bear and his friends. I wonder how Cubby Bear is doing today. Maybe he'll come out and talk to us. When I count to three, let's call him, okay? One, two, three. Cubby! Hi, boys and girls. Oh, Cubby, is something wrong? Kind of. Do you know what tomorrow is? Mm, no. Is tomorrow a special day? It is the most special day for my most special friend, Timothy. It's his birthday. Oh, how fun. Is Timothy having a birthday party? He is, and I'm supposed to go to his birthday party. Oh, then why are you sad, Cubby? I don't have anything to give him. Oh, I see. Lovey Lamb is giving Timothy a pet caterpillar, so I can't give him that. I looked all over the playground because sometimes boys and girls who visit the farm leave their toys. I thought that maybe I could find a car or something to give Timothy, but I couldn't find anything. Hmm. Surely there's something that you can give to Timothy. Well, I did find the perfect gift for Timothy at the farmer's market. There is a shiny green tractor for sale in the shop. I don't like tractors at all, but Timothy loves tractors, and green is one of his favorite colors. Well, can you get the tractor for Timothy's birthday? No, the tractor costs $3, and I only have some pennies in my honey jar bank. Yeah, $3 is a lot of money for you, Cubby Bear. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you go and count your pennies to see how much you have, and then maybe Katie Colley and one of your other friends would have some money you could borrow. That is a great idea. I'm going to go find out right now. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I hope Cubby finds enough money to buy Timothy a birthday present. Everyone likes birthday parties. There is lots of food and sometimes there are presents. And speaking of presents, that reminds me of a special gift that someone gave to Jesus. And that's what our story is going to be about today from the Bible. When Jesus lived on earth, he did many wonderful things to show that he is God's son. 
He helped blind people to see. He helped people to walk again. He even made dead people come alive again. Jesus had many special friends who believed that he is God's son. And two of these friends were sisters named Mary and Martha. When Jesus came to visit them, Martha served Jesus and Mary loved to sit at Jesus' feet and listen to him teach. As Jesus was traveling on the road from Jericho to Jerusalem, he stopped at a town called Bethany, where Mary, Martha, and their brother Lazarus lived. All of Jesus' friends in Bethany decided to have a big dinner party for him, and the party would be at a friend named Simon's house. Now there were many people at the dinner who believed in Jesus. His special helpers, the disciples, were there. Jesus' friend Martha was helping to serve the meal. Martha's brother Lazarus was there too. Lazarus is the one sitting to the left of Jesus. Jesus loved all the people at the dinner and he was happy that many of them believed in him. But there was one person who wanted to do something extra special for Jesus. And that person was Mary. Mary brought out a very special jar. Inside the jar was perfume and it smelled very pretty. This jar of perfume was very special. It cost a lot of money, but Mary didn't care how much it cost. She loved Jesus and she wanted to do something very, very special to show him how much she loved him. Because this perfume was in a special jar, Mary had to break off the top of the jar so she could pour out the wonderful smelling perfume. Carefully, Mary broke open the jar and she poured the perfume over Jesus' feet. That was what people used to do sometimes for very important guests at dinner. The whole room smelled so wonderful. Then Mary sat at Jesus' feet and began to wipe his feet with her hair. Usually only the servants washed the feet of guests, and Mary wasn't a servant, but because Mary loved Jesus and wanted to serve and obey Jesus, she did the job of a servant and washed Jesus' feet. Now some of Jesus' disciples in the room were angry with Mary. Why did you waste that perfume by pouring it out on Jesus, they asked. That perfume costs a lot of money. But Jesus was happy with Mary. He was glad that Mary had done something so special for him. Do not be angry with Mary, he told them. Many people will hear about the good and beautiful thing that she has done for me, Jesus said. Mary's gift was extra special to Jesus because by pouring the perfume on Jesus, she was helping to get his body ready to be buried. In those days, perfumes and spices used to be put on bodies before they were buried. And Jesus knew that soon he would go to Jerusalem and die on a cross for our sins. And his body would be buried in a tomb that on the third day he would come alive again. Now Cubby's Mary believed that Jesus came to save us. And this card says, God sent the Savior. Can you say that with me? God sent the Savior. And who is our Savior, Cubby's? Jesus. Our Bible verse reminds us of what Jesus did to save us from our sins. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4 says, Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. Let's say that one more time. 1 Corinthians 15, 3 through 4. Christ died for our sins. He was buried. He was raised on the third day. Very good. Because of what Jesus did for us, we want to show love to him. Cubbies, we don't have to give Jesus a gift to show him that we love him. We can show Jesus we love him in other ways, like obeying our parents or telling others that Jesus loves them. We can even say to Jesus, I love you, Jesus. I am glad that we 
can show Jesus that we love him just like Mary did. And our song today is from an old show called The Barney Show a long time ago. And we're going to sing I Love You and You Love Me. We're a happy family. But I'm going to show you a, a shortcut sign language sign that says I love you. Before we would say I love you. But the shortcut way is doing this. And you take all five of your fingers and you hold them out. But these two middle ones bend down. And this means I love you. So if I can point it to you, I can say I love you. If you point it to me, it says you love me. I can point it to Jesus and say I love you, Jesus. Okay, we're going to use that to sing our song. So I love you, you love me, we, we're a happy, this is a sign for happy, remember happy, happy family. We're going to pinch our first finger and thumb like we're going to pick up something. Okay, we're going to pinch them down and they're going to touch and then you're going to turn them backwards so that the backs of your hands touch. That's family. Okay, we're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah. I'm so glad you love me too. All right, let's sing that together. I love you, you love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah. I'm so glad you love me too. Let's do that one more time. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Mwah. I'm so glad you love me too. All right, Cubbies, I love you. Bye.